You ask the questions, we'll answer them. This is the Ask DVCC show. Hi, I'm Nathan from the DVCC and welcome to the weekly DVCC TV show where we can inform you on things that are happening at the DVCC, update you with some amazing results our clients are achieving and answer questions about health, fitness and nutrition for losing fat and building muscle tone. So if you have any questions regarding fat loss or building muscle tone which you'd like us to answer for you, please leave them below in the comments section and we will answer them in the future for you. So please check out how Lindsay has lost over 40 pounds of fat. She explains how she's managed such an amazing transformation and also answers some questions about her experiences at the DVCC. Also have a quick read of this article uh, which will explain six very simple and effective tips for fat loss and it's uh, very, very helpful. So please also look out for our blog. It's the most up-to-date information on fat loss and muscle tone. It's all completely free of charge. You can find them at www.thedvcc.com forward slash blog. Now the question of the week this week has been asked by Johnny and the question he asks is which meat should I consume most often? The simple answer is you should eat a whole variety of meats but if you delve a little deeper there's a lot of things when buying and consuming meat that you want to look out for. So first of all, uh, like most things, with meat you get what you pay for. Now this being said, avoid eating factory farm raised and processed meats completely if possible. There'll be many reasons why some meat in supermarkets is cheaper than the rest. Uh, many large chain supermarkets and butchers are more concerned about their profits and less concerned about the health of the consumer of the products which they produce. Animals will be fed and fattened with food they wouldn't naturally consume. Now this can consist of grains and even other animal offcuts, which is, is not nice. Um, so when animals consume these food sources, they become ill. Now the farmers of the livestock will then inject the livestock with antibiotics to keep the farm animal alive for long enough for it to continue to grow. Now this causes the animal considerable stress, which will cause problems with their hormonal balance. Now when that animal is actually cooked and consumed, the consumer will not only be eating the meat the livestock's produced, but also all the antibiotics which has been repeatedly injected into the meat, not to mention the hormones which will have been produced by an unnatural diet for that particular animal, and that's not something you want for fat loss. So it's important when possible to try always to buy the highest quality meat, and don't be afraid to ask your butcher if their meat is grass fed, they should know. Always look for grass-fed and organic meat. The difference in quality in terms of taste is unbelievable and it's so much more healthy. Try to include grass-fed, organic or wild meat in your meals, especially for breakfast, as this will help you to lose weight and stay as healthy as possible. Now in terms of eating certain types of meat too often, try not to over -red, red meat. Eating red meat two to three times per week, which is grass-fed and been looked after in the correct manner, should not have any long-term health risks attached to it. Red meat can be quite acidic, so it's important to consume lots of alkalizing green vegetables with your red meat. Not only will this help you to alkalize, but green leafy veg will also work wonders for your weight loss results. Chicken can be eaten fairly regularly. Again, make sure that you're consuming high quality produce though. Include wild fish in your diet and aim for eating one portion of oily fish and two non-oily fish per week. Now the question of the week is what is your favorite type of meat? And as always guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and we'll answer them in the future. Until next time, this is Nathan at the DVCC. Have a great day.